In microbiology, colony forming unit is a rough estimate of the number of viable bacteria or fungal cells in a sample. Viable is defined as the ability to multiply via binary fission under the controlled conditions. In contrast in a microscopic evaluation, all cells, dead and living are counted. The visual appearance of a colony in a cell culture requires significant growth, when counting colonies it is uncertain if the colony arose from one cell or 1,000 cells. Therefore results are reported as CFUML for liquids, and CFUG for solids to reflect this uncertainty. Theory The purpose of plate counting is to estimate the number of cells present based on their ability to give rise to colonies under specific conditions of nutrient medium, temperature and time. Theoretically, one viable cell can give rise to a colony through replication. However, solitary cells are the exception in nature, and most likely the progenitor of the colony was a mass of cells deposited together. In addition, many bacteria grow in chains or clumps. Estimation of microbial numbers by CFU will, in most cases, undercount the number of living cells present in a sample for these reasons. This is because the counting of CFU assumes that every colony is separate and founded by a single viable microbial cell. The plate count is linear for E. coli over the range of 30 to 300 CFU on a standard sized petri dish. Therefore, to ensure that a sample will yield CFU in this range requires dilution of the sample and plating of several dilutions. Typically tenfold dilutions are used, and the dilution series is plated in replicates of two or three over the chosen range of dilutions. The CFU plate is read from a plate in the linear range, and then the CFUG of the original is deduced mathematically, factoring in the amount plated and its dilution factor. An advantage to this method is that different microbial species may give rise to colonies that are clearly different from each other, both microscopically and macroscopically. The colony morphology can be of great use in the identification of the microorganism present. A prior understanding of the microscopic anatomy of the organism can give a better understanding of how the observed CFUML relates to the number of viable cells per milliliter. Alternatively it is possible to decrease the average number of cells per CFU in some cases by vortexing the sample before conducting the dilution. However many microorganisms are delicate and would suffer a decrease in the proportion of cells that are viable when placed in a vortex. Uses, the plate count method is the standard method used in microbiology to estimate cell numbers. There are a variety of variations on this method which include the poor plate method wherein the sample is suspended in a petri dish using molten agar cooled to approximately 40-45 AA degrees Celsius. After the nutrient agar solidifies the plate is incubated. The spread plate method wherein the sample is spread across the surface of a nutrient agar plate and allowed to dry before incubation for counting. The Miles and Misra methods or drop plate method wherein a very small aliquot of sample from each dilution in series is dropped onto a petri dish. The drop dish must be red while the colonies are very small to prevent the loss of CFU as they grow together. The membrane filter method wherein the sample is filtered through a membrane filter, then the filter placed on the surface of a nutrient agar plate. During incubation nutrients leach up through the filter to support the growing cells. As the surface area of most filters is less than that of a standard petri dish, the linear range of the plate count will be less. A second method for estimating the number of cells in a sample is the most probable number method. Tools for counting colonies Counting colonies is traditionally performed manually using a pencil and a click counter. This is generally a straightforward task but can become very laborious and time-consuming when many plates have to be enumerated. Alternatively semi-automatic and automatic solutions can be used. Software for counting CFUs, colonies can be enumerated from pictures of plates using software tools. The experimenters would generally take a picture of each plate they need to count and then analyze all the pictures. Since it takes less than 10 seconds to take a single picture, as opposed to several minutes to count CFU manually, this approach generally saves a lot of time. In addition, it is more objective and allows extraction of other variables such as the size and color of the colonies. Open CFU, 1, 
is a free and open source program designed to optimize user friendliness, speed and robustness. It offers a wide range of filters and control as well as a modern user interface. OpenCFU is written in C++ and uses OpenCV for image analysis. NICE is a program written in MATLAB providing an easy way to count colonies from images. ImageJ and Cell Profiler Some ImageJ macros and plugins and some Cell Profiler pipelines can be used to count colonies. This often requires the user to change the code in order to achieve an efficient workflow, but can prove useful and flexible. One main issue is the absence of specific GUI which can make the interaction with the processing algorithms tedious. Automated systems. Completely automated systems are also available from some biotechnology manufacturers. They are generally expensive and not as flexible as standalone software since the hardware and software are designed to work together for a specific setup. Alternatively, some automatic systems use the spiral plating paradigm. Alternative parameters, instead of CFU, the parameters MPN and MFU can be used. MPN correlates with CFU. MFU also takes into account bacteria in VNBC mode. See also, cell counting, miles and MISRA method, MPN most probable number, Petri dish, growth medium, replica plating, viral plaque, modified Fishman units MFU, references. Further reading, Fishman, William H. Bernfeld, Peter. 31, Glucuronidases. Methods in Enzymology 1, 262 a Euro 9 doi, 10.1016-0076-6879, 55, 01035-5. ISBN A978-0-12-181888.